On September 18, 2022, a user by the name of Teapot Uber Hacker on the GTA forums went on to leak a little over 3 gigabytes of confidential testing footage from Rockstar Games' upcoming installment in the GTA franchise, also known as GTA 6. And within just a few hours of the leak, over 5 million people had seen what Rockstar Games was working on for the last few years and worked so desperately to keep a secret. What happened during those next 24 hours though was something not before seen in the gaming industry. User Teapot Uber Hacker registered their account onto the GTA forums and went on to create a post titled GTA 6 America's Leak. Now, if you're familiar with GTA 6 leaks, you'll know this wasn't the first time someone posted a leak to the GTA forums, or any GTA related forum for that matter, and tried to claim it as being real. Now, once this was originally posted to the GTA forums, most who were early to download the 3GB folder and view the footage were skeptical, as most people would be after the wave of leaks that were fake that have hit the internet in the last few years. But something was just different about these clips. The amount of footage that was available, the detail in the clips, and even the naming convention of the files made it seem far too legitimate for someone to put that kind of effort into making a fake leak. And that's when it all started. As more people began to view the leaked files, people began giving the post credibility, and within just a few hours of the post, multiple clips were posted across Twitter, from GTA 6 pages to random people who somehow got a hold of the clip. And like wildfire, the GTA 6 leaks were across the internet and weren't planning on slowing down in terms of spreading. In the first eight hours of the leak, over five million people had already seen at least one of the leak clips on Twitter alone. By midday on September 19th, the damage had already been done. In typical Rockstar fashion, most were not expecting to see a response from Rockstar Games, as there have been many leaks in the past and responding to the credibility of each of them would be an impossible task. But there was no way Rockstar Games or Take-Two could ignore this any further. They had to respond. As the hours continued, more people got a hold of the full folder of leaks with up to 90 clips of footage ranging from QA tests to Rage Engine tools and even documentation. Rockstar's years of work they had put into this project were becoming public faster than they could imagine. People were beginning to analyze the leaks and look for changes frame by frame across the three gigabytes worth of footage and considering most of this was QA footage, these leaks told a lot. Not just a lot about the game and where it would take place, but a lot about Rockstar's game development process and the kind of tools they used during the testing phases of the game. Footage that would be proprietary to Rockstar Games and should never become public considering this is Rockstar's internal intellectual property. Teapot Uber Hacker unfortunately did not stop there and went on to make claims of having access to not only GTA 5's source code, but GTA 6's source code as well, and was putting up both files for sale for nothing below five figures. A few hours later from this post, a Bitcoin transaction had gone through for just over $100,000, which many immediately concluded to be the sale of the GTA 5 source code, and that this was now in the hands of an unknown user, which could be a huge risk to Rockstar Games had that code been in the wrong hands. It was later confirmed, however, that the transaction that did go through was not to the correct address and was not related to the sale of GTA 5 source code. As the hours transpired, many internet news outlets began sharing the news of GTA 6's leak and the leaks had been viewed over a collective 10 million times in less than a day. The damage was being done and a quiet Rockstar Games' social media presence was growing tense. People were expecting a response. Rockstar had to do something, and most were not sure what to expect, myself included. Just a short while after is when the first response came, which was in the form of Take-Two beginning to DMCA all leaked content. 
First, the strikes came to YouTube videos and shortly other social media sites, mainly being Twitter. People began finding their tweets deleted and accounts at risk of suspension for posting said leaks. As Take-Two began the cleanup work, it was time for Rockstar Games to respond. The next day on the morning of September 19th, Rockstar issued an official response to the leak and acknowledged what had happened. To the community's delight, they did mention that this leak would not impact the game in terms of its release. Obviously, however, a leak on this scale meant big changes internally at Rockstar Games. The hack that caused this leak was said to be due to an employee Slack account being penetrated and due to COVID and work from home was holding quite a bit of footage of their work as a means to communicate test results to other co-workers. With this, however, comes a risk of that very data being leaked, which is what ended up happening in this case. It is said that Teapot Uber hacker who was responsible for the leak is apparently part of the same group that was involved in a hack with Uber, and that at this time, Uber and Rockstar Games are working closely together with the FBI to catch this user as well as the group they're involved in. Now, as it's only been two days since the incident, this is still a changing story, and new details may emerge in the near future, but to date, this is a story of how Rockstar Games fell victim to the worst hack in the history of gaming.